Hello, this is Quinn. I am making some soup. Uh, it's the favorite soup of my family. My wife loves it. My in-laws love it. Sorry about the background noise. My rock tumbler is going on in the kitchen and we like the background noise. So <clears throat> I don't really go by measurements a whole lot. So I put a pound of meat and we'll brown it with some with a onion and some cut up celery so that'll be what it'll do and I'm gonna put it on time lapse so that you can see how cool it looks when it's browning and all that stuff so All right, so I put the onion and the celery in the pot with the um, meat. So then I'm going to put some taco seasoning, just one bag, in there. That'll be good for the whole entire uh, batch. So, And I'm going to continue to cook all the stuff. Basically, I'm just going to be putting a bunch of canned vegetables in. I'll bring you back in um, here in a minute once I start to put in more stuff. Now I'm putting on my uh, flash button on my phone, or the flash on the camera, because I can't really see it very well, but that's just because I don't have a light up here. So it's pretty well cooked, the meat is. So I'm going to add a bunch of fresh green beans that I just cut up, which is probably why you couldn't see very well, because I was in the light. So this is what I'll do. <clears throat> Figure out some other stuff. I got some fresh uh, mushrooms <coughs> that I got at the local uh, apple orchard. Actually, these these green beans were also from there. I'd obviously cut off the ends because they were those the sticks, and I got little couple spots on them and whatnot, but what you get for not having uh, pesticides and everything else. I still wash them off, obviously, but just saying. All right, I'll put some, uh, let's see, put some salt, seasoned salt. I really like this stuff right here. This stuff is amazing. It's uh, chili powder with lime in it. <clears throat> Even though we've had onions in it, I still like to put minced onions. Chipotle black pepper and these obviously what if you want to go along with mine you can just pick up any kind of this any kind of black pepper it doesn't have to be a certain black pepper 
this stuff right here is awesome too. It's steakhouse seasoning. Even though it's for steak, I like it for soup. And the good thing is, the more you use, the more tasty it'll be. If you accidentally put a little bit too much, then you just, it's not that big of a deal. Paprika. Stuff will give it a nice little red color, smoky flavor. Since I already put the taco seasoning on there, I'm going to put a little bit of chili. Not a lot, but just a little. Just a little bit. <clears throat> what else do we have up in here? You know, that's a too spicy. Okay, I'm going to start off with, uh, apparently we don't have any, even have any kind of uh, mixed vegetables that are in the freezer, but that's not a big deal. Some uh, black beans, I'm going to keep the juice in there because it's getting really warm, and plus it tastes really good. So, I'm going to be uh, opening all these cans and draining them, but I wanted to put that one in right away because it was starting to get a little bit too hot, so... All right, so I, my dog's in the background barking, so I'll have to talk up. So I've got some other green beans, pitch them in there. Some whole potatoes. I'll have to, cr I'll crush those up. Carrots. Some corn, love corn. I guess more green, green beans, I didn't even realize that I'm putting that much in so cool some kidney beans like I said you could just throw as much or as little black beans as much or as little uh, canned goods as you want just that's the beauty of it it doesn't have to be perfect can or corn <clears throat> and I'm going to put some stewed tomatoes in there, too. All right. And um, mushrooms, canned mushrooms. So now, fun begins. I am going to be putting my timer on for every... 20 minutes or so to come in here and stir it um, and I'm gonna be stirring it most of the day um, but you're gonna be on the time-lapse so it, that'll be fun to watch all right All right, so it has been about 25 minutes or so. Let's give it a stir. Put all the ones from the top back on the bottom. 
There's, you can see a little bit of liquid going in there. That's good. It means it's starting to cook everything together. And th this will be on the stove. And it's uh, 10 o'clock now. It's been on since about eh, 9 o'clock. So it's been about an hour. It'll be on there for several hours. So this is like a slow cooker, basically. Um... Right now, while I'm doing this, I'm in the living room making a video about coin roll searching pennies. If you want to watch that, whenever you watch this, and make sure to like and subscribe and all that. I got a few different types of videos to do that I do. Metal detecting, coin roll hunting, time lapse, magnet fishing. So... Just give it a little stir. And I'll put you back on time lapse. All right, so it has been about 25 minutes. I turned it on a little bit higher just so it can cook a little bit more. Eventually we'll put in the broth. It's now 10.34, before it was about 10 o'clock, I think. So it's been about 35 minutes then, whatever. It's starting to look pretty, Smell. it smells really good throughout the house. Hey Google, cancel the timer. If you just asked about canceling the timer, there are actually none set at the moment. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so I guess I didn't set a timer. Wow. I'm glad I came out here. My phone started ringing. Okay. It's uh, 10.53, still working on the soup. You know what, let's, uh, I think it's pretty good. Let's put the juice in there. Today, why is the light off? So used to turning off the light every time I leave the room. Today we're using V8. That's going to be interesting. Usually I just do tomato juice. Let's do a whole one. And I'll keep it on that. 
Oh, okay. Went a little bit aggressive there. Oopsie. So, I'll probably see you in about 25 minutes. All right, it is now 11.21. It's been about 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes. I hope you're enjoying me stirring soup. <laughs> now that it's boiling, I'm going to turn it back down to two. It was on five for a while. Get this stuff off the top so it doesn't get caked on there and it'll be harder to clean. A little allergy problem, so I'm sniffling a little bit. I'm gonna try it. It looks really good. So. Yeah, I'll try some of this meat. Obviously, it's really, really hot. So. That's pretty good. Yeah. I think it needs more salt. <laughs> Have you guys seen those videos where they... I won't use that spoon because I already sucked on it. So. so they put on a spoon and they put it in here and they sip on the thing. Put some salt in there. And then they sip on the same one and they're like, man, it's not salty enough. So there's salt more. I love that. And of course I use seasoned salt. I don't use regular salt. So much tastier. I cannot believe that people only use salt and pepper. That's crazy. All right. Back on the time lapse. See you in 25. Okay. Now it is 6 o'clock. And I haven't been cooking it this long, but I had to stop for a couple hours and do something else. But um, I put in two more, or two uh, large tomatoes and a bunch of mushrooms and then I simmered it for several several hours so I think it's done if you like this video leave a like uh, subscribe comment whatever till next time have fun <laughs>